नमा ओम विष्णु अध्याय कृष्ण प्रस्ताय भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदांत गोस्वामी इति नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवानी प्रचारिने निर्वशेष शून्यवारी आश्चर्यादेशधारिने Basis, the Lord is free. My beloved spiritual master, Shri Prabhupada. And generally, before I sit before anyone or stand before anyone, any organization, and I give lots of uh, speeches to different organizations, generally I do some uh, preparation. But today I decided I'm not going to read or try to memorize anything. I'm going to speak um, from my heart and from my practical experience. When I was 14 years old, I joined this con. When I was 15, I met Shula Prabhupada. When I was 16, I was initiated, and when I was 17, he left this world. Oftentimes, when I speak before the devotees, I always show them a photo that was taken with Shula Prabhupada and I. And once again, I bought it. <laughs> so, those of you who have seen it are probably thinking, yes, yes, we've seen the photo. Too bad. I'm going to show you again. <laughs> Standing behind Srila Prabhupada wearing the glasses is myself. This was at my initiation. And I, I, I was thinking that in this world the material condition is that with time comes forgetfulness. And it has since now been 35 years since uh, Srila Prabhupada has left this world and, and as uh, time passes more and more of, of us leave this world, more and more of the disciples leave this world, as you can see there's two of us here now, and every year someone leaves. And sometimes it, it is easy to become forgetful sometimes in the proper worship of the spiritual master. In fact, I must mention something that, I, that happened here a while back. There was a kirtan before, during, and after. No one said pranam to Srila Prabhupada, and I was very disturbed by this. I wanted to make mention that none of us would be here were it not for Srila Prabhupada. So therefore we should always remember that when we give kirtan or anyone who sits before the assembled devotees and the Archibigara, the deities, that they offer glorifications to the founder of this ISKCON movement, the Acharya Srila Prabhupada. In my life, I have met many famous people. I've met many famous people, from artists to musicians to millionaires, even a billionaire, even movie stars. I've met famous movie stars, but none of them compared to the person of Srila Prabhupada. That I know, were it not for him, I would not have become the person that I am. I come from a, um, a Christian and a Muslim family. So being familiar with uh, religion was natural for me, but when I met the devotees and they explained about uh, the personal aspect of God and that he was actually a person with beautiful features, beautiful pastimes, immediately I became attracted and thought, ah, I want to learn more about this. And for that, and my understanding of God, I owe to Srila Prabhupada. It is, e it is difficult for me to even comprehend the magnanimity of his personality because he was such a rare soul. And why we come here today and we worship this rare soul. Last night, a gentleman that I know said, ah, so what do, you, do you have anything planned for Saturday? And for some reason, I don't know why, but I told him things that generally I don't tell a lot of people whom I come and associate with and do business with. I don't generally tell them about the, 
my personal life, uh, in, in spiritual life. And for some reason, I was compelled to tell him, well, no, I won't be seeing you uh, tomorrow evening because I'm going to be worshiping my spiritual master. And he looked at me with eyes like this. And he said, what do you mean? He said, you're going to worship your spiritual master? You're going to worship a human person? I said, yes. And he said, what do you mean? And I said, well, I would not be the person that you know. I would not be the person that you like and are attracted to were it not for this man. And he said, well, who is this man? What is his name? So I told him his name. I said his name is Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Parivrajaka Charanja. Ashto Tara Sata Sri Sri Mata. He said, ooh, that's a, that's a good name. I said, I'm not finished yet. Ashto Tara Sata Sri Sri Mata. His divine grace of high Charan He, Bhakti Vedanta, Goswami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada. And he said, oh. <laughs> very famous. I said, yes, you go to the internet and find it. He says, well, what does all this mean? I said, he, he is, you know, he's called a Paramahansa because he's a swan-like person. He's Bhakti Vedanta because he, he is a Bhakti, he is a devotee of, 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 of the Vedas. He has realized the conclusion of all the Vedas. Uh, he's a Swami, his senses are under full control. He's a Maharaj, he's a great personality. And he said, oh. I said, yeah, you go to the internet, you find out. A very, very famous man, and I'm his disciple. And he said, wow, you must be very fortunate. To that, I said, actually, I am. I consider myself extremely fortunate. Some years ago, my mother said, Son, you are very fortunate because when you were young, you met your Savior. And she said that I was astonished because it was true. Were it not for Srila Prabhupada, none of us would be here, especially in the West. No one would have known about Krishna. The fact that this man was empowered, I find incredible because I've, I've always been attracted to people of note, to people who have achieved great things in life. I love reading biographies, autobiographies of very famous persons because in their lives we can learn things. The fact that as an old man, he comes to America, 69 years, sat under a tree with a pair of car tiles. And from that, all this is manifested. That's incredible. If that is not the activity of an empowered person, I do not know what is. At, um, as a young man, 25 years old, he met his spiritual master, and it wasn't until he was 69 years old that he was able to fully uh, uh, embrace the desire of his spiritual master. His spiritual master, Srila Bhakti Sanatha Saraswati Thakur, was uh, impressed that, uh, that uh, Srila Prabhupada was an educated man. He came from a... Um, Vaishnava family, his parents and grandparents were Vaishnavas. He went to uh, English college, learned uh, English, he was very articulate, and Bhakti Santa Maharaj was very impressed. And one of the first things he said to him was, you go to the Western countries and you preach this mission of Lord Chaitanya. But at the time, he was interested in, in uh, joining Gandhi's movement for independence of Britain. But it wasn't until 10 years later, 11, that he actually took initiation. And then another 30 odd years later before he actually got on the Jaladuta to come to America. As a younger man, and, and oftentimes I would, I would wonder about Srila Prabhupada's life when he was my age, when he was a younger man, and what would be going through his mind, and, and, and uh, how he was thinking. That my master gave me this instruction, but due to uh, family life, business life, and not being ready. And the time, timing also to fully embrace um, his desire of spreading Lord Chaitanya's message. So as an older man, 69 years old, when many of us are in retired life and we're not thinking about doing some great activity, he travels on a the, on the steamship, undergoes heart attack, comes to America to preach this mission. And then, when he was here, when he got off the ship, he looked around and he said, Oh, my Lord Krishna, why have you brought me here? You brought me to the land of this relation, these meeting people wine drinkers, these women chasers. You have brought me to this land. How will they possibly accept uh, the message of Lord Chaitanya? But with faith and chanting, it manifested. Sat in a park and chanted. The people became, <laughs> people became attracted. So, to our master, we, we owe a great debt. We owe a great debt. He's created this house in which all of us can live. As family. 
And I've mentioned several times when I've spoken before the devotees that we are all family. And we must remember that. We're all family. And Srila Prabhupada is the head of our family. So we are brothers or sisters, cousins, nieces, nephews, and so forth. Were it not for him, where would we be? What would our lives be? So we come together on days such as this and we glorify the spiritual master. And we must not forget this. When we do kirtan, Jai Prabhupada. Pranam, always, I say again, whoever stands before the devotees, in front of Srila Prabhupada and the deities, and they chant, do not forget this. You offer pranam, you glorify Jai Prabhupada, because that is the way of purification, that is the way to Krishna, through the spiritual master. Let us not forget this, let us not become complacent, let us not become forgetful. So, I've said enough. If I've upset anyone uh, with the uh, seriousness of what I'm saying, with the deepness of my voice, I apologize, that's not my intention. It's just simply here to remind. And as I say to all of you, I say it to myself. So, I believe I've said enough. Thank you for giving me your time. Thank you, Roy Prabhu, once again, for sending me the email reminding me to come. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.